What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Crazy Slim44. This is another playthrough of Dragon Quest XI Part 5. Uh, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video, guys. Um, how you guys been, man? What's up, man? I know I haven't talked to you guys in a couple days here. Working, you know, usual grown-up stuff. I know, right? Tell me about it. Um, all right, man. Let's, like I said, let's go ahead and con let's continue. Let's go ahead and let's talk to this person right here. Let's see what's up with them. All right. Pet powers. Yes, we heard of pet powers. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so he wants us to be pepped up at the same time, basically. Alright, let's give it a try. Oh, he's gonna give us a gold chain. Uh, the warrior wants you to, to defeat a monster with Eric using a pet power known as the Rio Decoy. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, so like I said, this is actually pretty good because remember I told you last time that... um. We were just going to spend this this video, we're just going to try to level up. Because um, I feel like we're not, we're super under level. Level 6, level 5, I mean, come on. This, we got to at least, at least get to level 8. At, le at least, bro. And sisters, brothers and sisters. Because remember, we just have to go right there to uh, downtown Helidor. So, I mean, it's not that far, but let's go ahead and let's... Get some other little sparkling spots. Mm-hmm. All right. So what's up, man? Um, now remember what we I remember now what we're gonna talk about this channel, guys. Godzilla versus Kong. I remember that. All right. So let's see, man. Um, who do I think is gonna win to start off? I mean, ever since I was a little kid, I've been a Godzilla fan, like a big fan. I remember watching like the old school, like Japanese um, uh, movies. Hold on up. Okay, he wants me to hit it. The old school movies, man, you know, like the old school, like special effects and everything. Him fighting Mecha Godzilla, fighting King Ghidorah. Mothra used to show up in there. Boom. And all the other monsters that he used to fight with, you know, obviously I can't remember all of the names on the top of my head, but... I mean, bro, I even have, like, the old school, like, Godzilla, like, like, uh, action figure, you know what I'm talking about? Like, it's like a big one. It's a big one. I remember, I remember that the, the, my parents bought that out. Excuse me, my, my parents bought that for me whenever, uh, whenever I was smaller. Because I knew I, like, I like Godzilla a lot. That was my stuff, man. But Kong, don't get me wrong, man, I like Kong too, man. Um, I, I watched the the Kong movies as well. Not not, not the most recent one. Not, I mean, I've seen both of them, but I'm not I'm not specifically right now talking about this one. Uh, I know a lot of people didn't really like the the other one with where what's his name was in there, where Jack Black was in there. Yeah, I remember that one. Um, I I mean I, I liked it. A lot of people thought that the movie dragged on. If I'm not mistaken, the movie was like pretty long. It was a pretty long movie. Um, but I mean I. I enjoyed it, man. Like from the, you know, from the boat ride that they had, like to the island, to them getting there, you know, and like seeing like the that big, like big, big, big spider that looked like it had like kind of like bamboo type of kind of legs. They thought it was like some sort of bamboo or like like tree plant or something. Remember? And then they were like, oh no, it's a big old spider, and then just like cha 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 all over them. <laughs> um, that that King Kong movie was pretty clean, I right, like as well. Um, I think that was actually in. In Skull Island, was it? Because I think well, what they had in the other one, I think it was like huge spiders or something, right? And then they had like like dinosaurs. Um, yeah, the other one was was in, was in Skull Island, the one with the with the spiders, if I'm not mistaken. That was a long time ago. Um, but I do have my, the, the Godzilla movies right there in Blu-ray, bro. Um, the, from Godzilla was the Godzilla 2014, and then Godzilla King of the Monsters, and then I can't wait, man. Like me and my son, like we're we're big like Godzilla fans. Um, I think whenever Godzilla 2014 came out, my son was like four and a half or something like that, four and a half years old, man, he enjoyed it. It was the first time like he actually sat through a whole movie at the movie theater. And like we had gone to, to Studio Movie Grill, 
You know, like we were Let's chilling, you know, this. like a, I was having like a grown up drink, you know. Uh, my son was drinking like a little Dr. Pepper, you know, a little Dr. Pepper over here. Some little like chicken tenders or something, the seguro. And, and man, he sat through that whole movie, bro, I'm telling you, because we seen seen like take him to the movies, see other movies, and he would be entertained for like the first like 30 minutes or something, and then he would start like, eh, eh, you know, like we want to move around. But back to my point, man, um, and then we saw uh, King of the Monsters. And he was he was like super like oh, like impressed like whenever he saw um, King Ghidorah up in that mug man and I was too I'm not gonna lie that was it was pretty nice oh, oh one of them Crazy Slim got the pep now we need Eric to do it that way we can complete the quest but we're gonna heal up in a little bit oh we got a critical hit guys um but yeah but um I know uh, a lot of y'all probably already saw other videos of people explaining it but the ones that I haven't like seen or or, or just oh two skill points. Or just don't know. Um, in in Kong Skull Island, uh, Kong he was like a teenager basically. Let's go go ahead and use the points. He was basically like a teenager. Like honestly, he has a knife. Let's go ahead and use use a knife of a panel upgrade, if you will. Okay, so this one is attack power plus five, and then ooze bruiser. Let's go. Uh, but this one's with the boomerang, guys. We, I don't want to equip the boomerang because the boomerang like set me down in, in the attack um, stats. But if y'all played this game before and y'all watching this and this is a way better option, go ahead and leave it in the comment. Go ahead and let me know because this is my first time playing uh, playing through this game. That's why it's, that's why I call it a playthrough, not a walkthrough because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing through with you guys so you guys can watch me. Um, whoa, whoa, my camera just kind of went like haywire there on me. What's going on? Somebody's like spying on me or something. Cheese Louise. All right, let's go ahead and go with this one, guys. All right, he learned that. Cool, cool, cool. What about six points and four points? Crazy Slim only got two points, so we have to level him up. Uh, where is he at? He needs 18 to level up. Eric needs 164 because he just leveled up right now. All right, so we, we're going to go ahead and focus on my boy Crazy Slim. I'm, I'm sorry guys, my my hat is like pushing down on my ear. I got big ears. And then the headphones are too. Sorry guys. I know you don't want to watch me do that. There it goes. You have to put up my hat a little bit, you feel me? Do it like that for a little bit. Now I can hear myself a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's heal. Well, back to Godzilla vs. Kong, man. I am so excited. Man, you know, they've been um, pushing back the movie, man. I was, last year, I was like, okay, finally it's going to come out in 2020. Boom. Coronavirus happens. Movie gets pushed back again. Didn't it get pushed back to like November, if I'm not mistaken, of 2020? And then guess what? All the movies were still shut down pretty much everywhere. Boom. Push it back to 2021. Now we're here 2021. February 1st. If I... I think I saw it. It comes out March 31st, right, guys? Correct me if I'm wrong down below. But March, we're like a month away. Like, come on. Like, a month and a half or whatever, bro. Well, but it, hopefully, they don't change the dates. But I can't wait for that movie, bro. I can't wait for that movie. And uh, like I was saying, on Skull Island, I remember Kong, he was just a teenager right there, apparently. Like, he was, like, barely growing, you know? That wasn't his full, his full size. I can't, you know, like, in... From what I read online, he's he's 400 feet now, and he was 103 or 100 and 100 and something like back in in Skull Island. But I think what it was, what like Skull Island, if I'm not mistaken, it took place like what, like in the like 60s, like in in their world, right? It took place like in the 60s, if I'm not mistaken, right, guys? And then, ooh, what is what kind of little monster is this? A save, what? A saber cup? That little guy is super cute. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that dude is legit, brothers and sisters. Ouch! Man, I don't even want to hurt it. Ah, oh, spoke too soon. I was. Oh, we need them experience, guys. We need them experience. Easy. Okay, and we got um, some herbs. I did say I was going to heal them up, but... 
Let's go ahead and just heal him up. I know we're about to level up. Apparently, we uh, they automatically heal your HP and MP whenever you level up. But I only have 13 left. And I don't want to die in this battle. So we might as well just do it. But yeah, but like I was saying, Kong is apparently 400 feet now. Yeah, he went from 100 Let's do this. to 400. But again, he was a teen and it was like in the 60s. And now this is 2021 or 2020 in their universe as well. So like, he's an adult now, basically. He's an adult. He's an OG now. And this boy, nice. he's about to kick some butt. He's about to kick some butt, man. What I'm going to do is I'm um, I'm going to show you some pictures right here in a little bit. I'm going to try to edit it because I'm still working on my editing skills, guys. Um, but that's going to be legit. All right, uh, let's go ahead and read this. Fledging fighter awarded for claiming victory in at least 50 battles. Nice, guys. Oh, look at that little tree stump. What the? Let's go ahead and battle him. Um, so, and Godzilla is 393 feet. So they're almost, almost the same. I mean, I know Kong got him like by like seven feet or whatever. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know. And then everybody for okay. So for whatever reason now, all of a sudden everybody in social media um, likes Godzilla and Kong. All of a sudden, all of a sudden people care. I know, like, well, you know, I might, I might be speaking too soon, but. Cause you know usually people like whenever there's a train going around you know like they usually like oh let me hop on it like my favorite well, my point is why is everybody choosing kong or is it just me is it just me that i just have like that i'm just obsessed with godzilla i don't know uh let's go ahead and check out this this uh, pet power the real decoy let's do this okay yeah, I tricked them. Oh man, that was bad. Y'all boys tricked them. All right. All right. So like I was saying, guys. Let's, oh, let's go ahead and head back so we can get some. Do they give us XP whenever we complete quests, or is it just like the the, the item and that's it? Um, what else? Um, like I was saying. So yeah, man. I I don't know why everybody's siding with with Kong. But I personally want Godzilla to, to win, obviously, from, from my little backstory that y'all heard. I mean, Godzilla is legit. What is going on with my camera, guys? Why is it doing that? Why is it, why is it doing that? Or is it, or is it, or is it um, the adrenaline software that's doing that? I don't know. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna edit that out. Y'all probably still gonna hear the audio, but I'm gonna try to edit that out too. As I was saying, um, Godzilla, man, I, I really want Godzilla to win. <laughs> and from what I was seeing, you know, like watching other YouTube theories and like all this and stuff, you know, like people are saying, like, man, like if, if you pause the the section, the trailer right here, whenever all the smoke is coming out, like you kind of see like a metal kind of body. Like kind of metallic with um, with like red like eyes or like red glowing like light somewhere, and for the you guys like some people were already like speculating this, but supposedly that's supposed to be Mecha Godzilla. If it is, I am gonna lose my poop inside the movie theater. <laughs> I really am, guys, because I'm a big like I have I'm still like a little like boy like inside, you know. Not, not, not to make it sound weird or anything, you know, but I just enjoy all this stuff, this type of things. As y'all can tell, I mean, I'm over here playing Dragon Quest uh, because I like it and so people can, can watch it, you know, for other people that haven't played it or that just want to kill some time and just hear somebody talk about dumb stuff <laughs> like me, make some, some corny jokes. And there goes my camera again. I don't know what's wrong with my camera, guys. It's literally like a, a week old camera. Ah, oh, man. I don't know what's going on. Let's go ahead and keep fighting though. The audio is still going, so we're just gonna have to go ahead and keep recording. Hopefully that doesn't stay like that though. Hopefully that doesn't stay like that. Some? Or hopefully it is recording and my and my screen just froze or something. I don't know. But yeah, man, what do, what do you guys think? Oh, and another thing um, about Mega Godzilla, I, I I don't know if it is gonna be Mega Godzilla or not, guys. But what I think it might be, because remember in Godzilla, um, King of the Monsters, in the end, yeah, I do remember that um, old dude that, that was in charge of controlling that, 
Oh man, I just I just lost it. Oh dude, um, that the one that was controlling the the little machine, then the that made the the noises or screeches, whatever you want to call it, the mating calls for for the for the uh, the kaiju's to appear. Um, him, remember he they were able to salvage one of the uh, King Ghidorah's heads. So what if it's Mecha King Ghidorah that's coming out and not Mecha uh, Godzilla? And then probably what what they're gonna have have them do is probably like Godzilla and Kong are gonna fight like in the beginning, and then they're gonna just like end up like teaming up to beat either Mecha Godzilla or, or Mecha King Ghidorah. Um, I don't know. Either way, if if it comes down to Mecha Godzilla King Ghidorah, like I'm not gonna pick who I'd rather be in the movie. I, I just know like that itself, just like the the plan that they have going on. That, that's just cool already itself so I mean either way I'm gonna be surprised in either way and I'm gonna like it but I really really would prefer if Godzilla wins guys like I mean I swear <laughs> if I see Godzilla get his butt beat I'm good I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose my poop bros I'm gonna lose my poop like like an Avengers Endgame um, whenever a uh, disclosure well not disclosure but just it let you a little bit of inside info more of me uh, Who's my favorite Avenger, I might ask? Captain America. I don't know why, ever since I was a little kid. X-Men, like, watching, like, stuff like that. Or, like, uh, then I'm, and I'm not gonna, like, lie and be like, Oh, I used to read comics, guys. Like, like, uh, like I know everything about... No, I don't know Another everything. But I used dust. to watch, like, cartoons, you know, oh, like, yeah. whenever I was smaller. And obviously, you know, um, some of my cousins had comics. So I w probably I did, like, not probably. Like, I did glance at them, but I know for sure I didn't read them. Because, you know, I was too little to read. But I did look at the pics or whatever, you know, and like they had like game, like magazines as well and stuff like that. So I used to like look at all that, and and I always liked Captain America. So whenever Captain America picked up uh, Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, bro, I I yelled and I got up and I started clapping. I'm like, yes, I'm like, I told y'all, I told y'all. And my stepbrother and my sister were like, bro, like sit down, bro, you're being scandalous. <laughs> but I don't care because people were like clapping with me too, you know, and then eventually they started clapping too. They were like, I told you, bro, I told you. That scene was epic, man. I really liked it. Oh, man, guys, we're going the wrong way. We're going to Helidor. We're supposed to go back. Um, I got distracted. But yeah, man, Ca Captain America. Now. So I'm telling you, so if I yelled whenever Captain America did something good, and I imagine if, if, God, if my favorite kaiju Titan dies or, or, or is getting beat, like I'm gonna be like, no, Godzilla, what are you doing? Beat his, beat his butt, you know, like whoop his butt. I don't know, guys. Easy. I'm excited. Uh, I really am excited about that. Yeah, how about y'all guys? Y'all let me know. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever watched a Godzilla movie? Um, either the old ones or the new ones. Did you watch any of the King Kong movies, the most recent ones? Either the one with Jack Black or, or Skull Island, um, which is your favorite? You know, just let me know. I uh, want people to, to to comment. You know, like and let me know like what they think. I think it's pretty cool. You know, just for for us to like be talking or or, or just communicating. That's pretty cool. You know, what is this dude doing? What? Are you just calling somebody else? Not too bad, brothers, because I don't think y'all gonna. It's gonna work. Oh, I forgot he. I thought he had an ability. Don't tell me I used it for his sword attack. No, no, I, his, his attack went up plus five. That's why. Who else wants some? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead. Let's go back. I wonder if there's like little like. Something back here. What the? Hey guys, what are y'all doing here? I know that's, the, that's not the noise rats make, but that's how I communicate with rats. Fun fact: uh, my sister actually worked at worked at a, you know, like one, like a, like a let's just say like at an animal store, like a pet store, you know, and. My son uh, was living with me at that time, and she was like, "Hey, like, do you mind if I give uh, my son's name is Leonardo? Like, do you mind if I give Leo a uh, a little like present, you know, like a little like 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 a pet, you know?" And I was like, "Bro, like, like we're about to get like a dog, you know, like my, my boy my boy Scotty, you know, we're about to get a puppy, like in like here in the next month whenever he's old enough. So, whenever the puppy's old enough, because my son is he's already like, you know, he's not a little kid no more, or a, a toddler, should I say? He's about to turn 11." Um, 
Okay, so um, so he gave me like a little mouse, <laughs> and I named I named him Sir Whiskalot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, pretty funny. Whoa, I didn't know this was here. A small scale. Okay. Oh, so yeah, so we we actually had like a little a little like mouse, and he al always used to escape his cage. <laughs> Bro, I swear, brothers and sisters, this uh, Sir Whiskalot was just running around our apartment. Like it was like a, like kind of like a townhome kind of deal, I guess if you would call it. It was like a two-story apartment, but like at the bottom, the, like the garage was at the bottom, you know. Like the stairs were like to go inside and out was like in inside. You feel me? Um, but my point is that this dude was running around everywhere. We could not find him for a week, but we'll see his little like like little mouse like droppings everywhere. You know, we were like, bro, he's still here somewhere. We have to find him. We have to find him. This dude was hiding, like, inside the, uh, by the washer and dryer in the damn laundry room, man. So, yeah, so that, that was a cool little experience. And we receive a gold chain. Nice. Nice. Let's go ahead and equip it. Let's see what kind of stats it's going to give us. Quest complete. All right. Uh, let's go to items. Equipment. Alright, let's go to item bag. Equipment bag, excuse me. Hey, I think I should put this on in, in, in uh, on Eric. <laughs> um, why is it not telling me? What am I doing? Am I doing something wrong? Equipment. Come on, guys. Here it is. Nothing to something. Ooh, that's a nice a stat upgrade. Go chain. Sorry, dude. I don't know. You know you don't have <laughs> that much things, but hey, at least we have another hat. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you my gold chain, bro. Sorry. We are gonna change this um to a pointy hat. Oh yeah, our maximum um, MP is gonna go down by two, but I can take that hit to increase three more stats. So let's go ahead and do it. And while we do what that, guess what, my dudes? He's gonna get. Oh, he had the same thing. Never mind. I thought we we're gonna be able to give him a little upgrade or whatever. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stop this video right here. Like I said, I, this video was just gonna focus on just um, leveling up just a little bit here. Um, let me see. We're in level seven, guys. I said we were gonna be in level eight. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and continue. And let's not use items. Let's go ahead and save. That way they can restore us? Is that how they say? Yeah, right? Or no, I'm tripping. That's not how you do it. But either way, it is a good thing to save. Yes, I'm going to keep playing. Did they heal us, brothers and sisters? No, all oh, right. I said the only way to heal is not it's not safe in here. This dude, I, I was just playing um, Final Fantasy X. I started like a new game and I put in so much like hours into it, like this cu uh, past couple of weeks. So you know, I keep thinking that once you go to the sphere and save, you know, you you're you're gonna heal. But this is definitely not FFX. But but yeah, man. Um, that, that's it. That, that's that's what I wanted to say about um, Kong and, and Godzilla, man. I'm excited about that movie, guys. I really am. I know I already said it like three times, but I really am. Let's go ahead and let's just focus on the battle right now. Boom. Alright. What are you doing? His defense. Alright. Ah, man. Alright, he's dead. I was about to use um special that flame special that uh, Crazy Slim had. Forty points, nice. Let's go ahead and keep them coming. All right, three of y'all. What's up, man? Let's go. Damn it! Don't be scared, bro. Let's go. Well, they have an X next time. Oh. Ooh, he just one hit a quit of him. Nah, I want to go ahead and use flame slash. Wow, that didn't kill him. He caught in a, no, another one of his buddies. I ain't tripping. Uh. 
Oh man, we're taking a beating here, guys. It's 18. Not bad. There you go. Another one bites the dust. Oh yeah. Nice, 40. Oh, somebody got a new spell. Crazy Slim did. He, he um, Crazy Slim learns a new spell. Sizz. I don't think we have enough. Oh, we have seven skill points. All right. Um. Sword mastering. Oh, okay. Luminary. Pep chance five percent. Huh. Two percent critical hit. Plus three attack. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Let's go ahead and go to what attack. Nice. What about old boy? He has five. Let's see our knives. Okay, how come when I go knives, this one pops up? Or is it because this is different? This is at the bottom? Sleeper hit. Oh, yeah, let's do this one. What? Not enough skill points. What? Oh, he needs six. I'm tripping. I saw three, but that's MP cost. Okay, I guess we'll go with this one then, guys. So we level up again. All right. All right, well, there we go, guys. We want to go ahead and reach level eight for Crazy Slim. He still needs 122. Uh, we're about to hit the 30 minute mark, guys. So we're going to go ahead and cut this video. And I just want to thank everybody so much for tuning into the channel again and for watching another playthrough of Dragon Quest XI. Um, and again, comment down below about Godzilla versus Kong. Who do you think is going to win? Team Godzilla or Team Kong? Y'all let me know at the bottom, man. Again, thanks for tuning in. Support Crazy Slim 44 Like. Go ahead and subscribe, please. This really means a lot to me. Let me know that you're watching the video all the way to the end. And peace out. I'm out of here, guys.